Hey there guys, my name is Marquez and in this video I'm going to teach you how we can easily use Shogun Landing Page Builder. First thing first, what I'm going to do, I will just click here Add Application in Shopify App Store. When you're going to do it, you need to install the app and just wait for it. And here we go. So first thing first, your storefront is password protected. I'll just add my password and here we are. So what you can do uh, when you're going to access Shogun is you can simply uh, add a page here straight away. You can choose bef between these templates that you have here or if you have your own same templates, you would see it right here. Then you can simply click on a top to product collection on blog post. And now let's just choose uh, some page like let's say this one here choose a template name your page I'm going to new Shogun page you name it like let's say that it's a shoes or it's your product name just add here your page name as the product create standard page and you can also include the themes header and footer you can disable it if you want to again completely up to you create a standard page now we need to wait a while until it's going to load and it's preparing the template so we can edit it and I will show you step by step how you can edit the whole page and what you can do with it. Okay, here we are. So when you would come here on the top left, you would see at the page, then you see right here that you can preview the page or view the live page. You can switch between multiple views, widescreen view, desktop view, tablet view okay or mobile view now when i'm going i'm going to edit for desktop and i'm going on the right side to click uh, so i can see everything and now let's see how we can edit it the whole shogun uh, and how it works it's based on sections and columns in those sections pretty straightforward pretty easy what you can do is to add structures then you can add plenty of con content like image, video, heading, button, countdown even. Then you have like Shopify directly from product box, product title, product image, product image ga uh, gallery, forms, form box and some social. And then you have like structural box here uh, that you can add like background image so you don't have to actually create. So you see the contact block here. So what I could do is just easily paste it, let's say here. And I don't have to do everything. So this is really great that you can just like edit the sections and you don't have to create your own. So you can see plenty of blocks on the right side that you can add to your Shogun website. Now, when I would come here and what you can actually build. So I will go step by step how we can work with the columns and structures, etc. Let's go to the bottom of the page. And now, first thing first, add a section. This is the section uh, and you can... A vertical eye in the content you can change dimensions the background and everything you can move every single everything you see you can simply move it so that's what you can do what you can do then is to add a columns so i'm going to add columns to those sections and now number of columns uh, you see that we are three right now i can increase to four five and i can change the columns width here so that's pretty good I like it and then you have like styles here and now what you can do is to add also a type table slider so as you can see you can add everything to the section so I need to add a new section under it I'm going to change also <clears throat> the height here and let's say I'm going to 250 uh, you can change it to full width and now I can come here and simply add a slider to my section. What I can do then, I can also table on a bottom and that's how we do it. Pretty straightforward, pretty easy. So uh, I added a slider and now I can in that slider, I can add image. If I want to, 
<clears throat> and I can add media from Dropbox, Google Drive, Camera, Evernote, Instagram. Completely up to you. So that's what you can do. Uh, what you can do is when I have the slider here, I can change again dimensions, padding, borders, literally everything here. So this is how it works. Then we have a table here. And again, I can add columns. I can add multiple rows here. I can change the row spacing. So that's how you can do it. Then furthermore, you can simply add a video. And this is just a straightforward tutorial how we can actually work. So you can have loop, autoplay, mute audio, etc. But what you can do is this. I'm going to add a section like this. I'm going to make it full width and I'm going to increase the size of it like 500, right? And what I can do is to simply add a video here. And as you can see, it's going to be full width. Pretty good, right? So this is how you can achieve a full width. Then you can again add a button here <clears throat> and you can change the text. You can change the size of it. Uh, you can change also the line height, letter spacing, text alignment. Uh, then you have dimensions here. You can change it to full width. So it's going to be here. But what you can do is, as I mentioned, you can add a columns. And then in those columns, let's say I'm going to have four columns. I can add, a, let me show you, a button here, button here. And this is the, how the columns work. And then I can increase the size of it to 30, size 30. And also what you can add is countdown and HTML. So you can change it as a date time, set countdown from date time, page refresh, countdown size, labels. So that's how we can do it. And let's say that it's going to be like this. So as you can see, we can in really increase it, uh, decrease it. You can add a map here. Then you get like Shopify. Shopify product. So like add a product right here. This choose a product. Choose. Confirm. And this is how it works. Then we have a content, as I mentioned, having the text heading countdown <coughs> product variant. And you can really optimize it as much as you want. Then you have a forms here, so you can add simple form box. Form name. And form text input, form drop down. But my recommendation is not really work with the form. Uh, everything what I would do is that I would just simply use it and choose it from structural box. So as a contact block or contact block one. So content block right here and I would change it to full width and voila here you got really good and really perfect contact. So that's what you can do and that's how we can achieve it. And as you can see you got plenty blocks here uh, that you can build your website with. So that's pretty much it. So thank you very much guys for watching. If you have any questions, ask me down in the comments. On the top right, you can also undo, <clears throat> redo. Uh, creating the website is pretty straightforward. I can click here to save. And now page updated. And voila, now uh, what I can do is to load more pages. I can preview the page. I can go back. And let me preview the page. You can simply add a new page. You can click here on events and you can create a new custom element. You can add also multiple people. And you can change the settings here in advanced. As I mentioned, you can create a custom element. And if you understand liquid CSS GS, uh, you can create it. And let me show you the website here. So as you can see, uh, it's looking like okay ish. I would need to center things to the middle.
but this is pretty much it how you can do it and what you can achieve and how you can work with it definitely work with sections that's that's really damn important most of the time also when you want to work with archons so when you want to have a header uh someone is going to click and they are going to get to the section so definitely keep in mind the sections here now in the dashboard uh you can simply click again add a page and i have a shoe so i can import it and now I will just import the custom layout or existing layout. And now I'm going to import the C and I have uh, the whole page for my product and I can optimize how it actually looks like. So let's say I can add a product title right here or I can add product quantity or product reviews, see? right directly under the product and reviews per page to one reviews character limit and I would edit everything here so this is how you can work with your, your product shoes and how you can optimize your product page and again you can move it you can change the add to cart button and how it looks like and uh, that's pretty much it so Thank you very much guys for watching. If you have any questions, ask me down in the comments. I'll really happy to help you um, like to create a website. So again, any questions, I'm happy to help you and how we can edit everything. But again, this was like the short overview what you can actually achieve. So yep. Have a great day and goodbye. And you can also like add Instagram here and authorize it. See ya.